All right, so here's just a brief example I'm going to show you, give you about still doing the cycle diet, still super compensation mode, but with the vegan approach, uh, what's been happening now that have been on it for a while, I'm noticing that the metabolism is really getting into uh, hypermetabolic mode, super compensation mode. Uh, for someone pushing 57, I haven't been this deep in super comp mode for a long time. So if you understand about the cycle diet, it's kind of like being a kid again. I'll give you a for instance, I started this refeed, uh, my refeed day this week. I started, I had a whole box of Lucky Charms cereal with about a quart of uh, vanilla, vanilla sweetened almond milk. And that filled me up. I was good. But unlike previous uh, times before I went vegan, within an hour, it was like I didn't even eat. Before that would have, that would have kept me full for a longer period. So I was full right after I finished the whole box, whole box of Lucky Charms and about a quart or so, a little more of uh, vanilla almond milk, sweetened vanilla almond milk, because I want all the calories I can get on refeeds. But within an hour, it was like I didn't even eat. So that was interesting. And then next, what you'll see here, is I bought the club size chickpea salad on the right and quinoa salad on the left. Now these are supposed to be club size. In other words, for a family or for more than one person, more than a few people. My thinking when I bought it was that I would eat one side of it for a meal and then I would eat the other side of it uh, for the next meal after that on a refeed day and then just sort of wait and uh, have something more calorie dense uh, for dinner and then have my cookies and cakes and everything afterwards. What ended up happening was I ate both sides of the club size chickpea salad and quinoa salad. I ate all of that um, without an issue, without a problem. Um, and I ate it like maybe a couple hours after the Lucky Charms finished it easy. Um, and I wasn't stuffing myself or anything like that. And I even had a few uh, desserts to go along with that as well. So very interesting from an anecdotal, personal uh, experience that, you know, kind of got used to over the last few years on my refeed days, not being that deep into super comp mode anymore, mostly because of my age, etc., etc. Metabolism slows down, things like that. But since going plant-based and vegan, what seems to be happening on those refeeds is a new level of super compensation mode that I haven't experienced in years and years. So like I said, just to reiterate, had the whole box of Lucky Charms and was full, thought that would last a while, but within an hour, hungry again. So that was awesome. And then I got out the club size uh, chickpea quinoa salad thinking it would last a few meals and I ate that in, in one fell swoop in one meal and within a couple hours after that I was ready to eat again. So definitely having an effect on metabolism in terms of uh, optimizing metabolism uh, in terms of being able to consume more on my refeed days. So pretty interesting um, experience uh, thus far on the vegan experiment or well, not even an experiment the vegan choice uh, and I just sort of wanted to put it together that it is affecting the metabolism in terms of refeed days being able to uh, eat a lot more than I've been used to the last five six seven years maybe uh, on refeeds I haven't had refeeds like this in a long long time so very interesting uh, scenario thought I'd let you guys in on it and uh, hopefully you benefit from this in some way. And I'm hearing that from other people who have also gone completely plant-based that their refeed days are, are even um, more like a bottomless pit. So interesting stuff. Uh, I'll keep you posted as I go along and uh, hopefully you got something out of this.